Britain's Got Talent is finally back tomorrow night after a two-year break. And joining me this morning are two of the show's most memorable winners. Start with yourself. You're thinking of a celebrity, is that correct? Yes. Thinking of a celebrity? Don't give anything away, but I'm going to just... That's perfect. Okay, Amanda, please tell us, this wonderful audience, who are you thinking of? David Beckham. David Beckham. All games make kids happy when they're playing, having fun. I wasn't happy when the schools closed and I had to teach my sons. I was happy when Boris told me I could finally hug my mum. But I was happiest in April, finding Lou Roll for my bum. <laughs> D60. Uh, I'm still laughing. Pure class. <laughs> Britain's Got Talent <laughs> winner Richard Jones and 2020 champion John Courtney. That's so funny. Um, <laughs> oh, Britain's Got Talent. It's just that show. We all watch it. We all love it. It's what we all need on a Saturday night. And it's been life-changing for both of you because it's actually allowed you to follow your passion. You, you've left the army. Yeah, so I, I spent 12 years in the army. I spent for many years after Britain's Got Talent juggling being in the army and doing shows at the same time. But now for the rest of, uh, yeah, I'm now focusing just solely on magic now. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It's a dream. It's an absolute dream. Absolutely. I'm very, very lucky. Uh, Britain's Got Talent gave me that platform to kick off this, this new career. Of course. Uh, I wouldn't be doing it otherwise. And it affords you these opportunities, doesn't it, John? Yeah, I joined the army. So <laughs> it's it, uh, a yeah, complete change for both of us, really. No, it's been amazing, yeah. It's, uh, it, it's, it's that common question, did it change your life? And the easy answer is to say yes. But in actual fact, for me, because of COVID, I think COVID changed everybody's lives. Mm. And what BGT gave me the opportunity to actually carry on performing. Because yes. a lot of my friends, obviously, it all just stopped uh, overnight. So I was really lucky, even though it was virtual, a lot of stuff was online, but I, I loved doing that. You know, I've got a little studio at home, so it was great. And what do you make of the new series um, coming up again? You, you've got a bit of a part, John. I know it's a bit hush and we're not obviously giving anything away, but you are involved slightly. Yeah, it was great. They phoned me up and said, we'd like to feature you. Um, so I'm opening one of the episodes, uh, wrote a song, because that's what I do now. I write bespoke songs. No. All these requests coming in for... So, yeah, I'm opening one of the episodes and then uh, there's something else which I don't think we can talk about. I don't know. I don't think we're allowed to talk no, about. Nobody's that's told me. That's yeah, so there's, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be featured, which is absolutely lovely. And it, it's great to go back because it, it's an incredible team. It's this, it has been for years. Mm -hmm. Probably the same with Richard. The producers, the, the runners, the and um, everybody's just lovely. And, and people don't want to hear that. They want to hear gossip, but everybody's great. Yeah, everybody's great. Because when you watch it, you know, you see um, the contestants backstage waiting to patiently go on and it's all quite nerve-wracking. But what, what is that? that bit like Richard what are your memories of your audition day actually I was quite lucky that I I remember my first audition in uh, first televised round uh, in Liverpool I always remember turning up about eight o'clock in the morning and I was super nervous because I thought I'd be on fairly soon and they didn't let us leave the theatre in case we missed our spot on TV so I, I didn't go out for food and I was hour after hour went past and I was super nervous but by the time I got on I'd been in that place for about eight hours and I'd been rationing little Percy pigs off one per hour I was and by the time I went on stage I wasn't very nervous because the only thing I could think of was uh, getting on stage getting it done and then going to Burger King at the train station <laughs> on the way home. Pure so, glamour, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> so I lost all my nerves just purely from all that waiting around which was good and like it's notoriously difficult for a magician to, to certainly to win it because you we've seen some very impressive acts to be fair but to go right to the final and to win it was such a, an accomplishment and um, Richard you're clearly brilliant at what you do you do have a little trick today for us. Yeah. Because, yeah. Well, we're basically yeah. not letting you leave without doing yeah, yeah. it. So. We've got time to try it now? Yes, we absolutely well, is, do. So I've got a pack of cards here on the table. I'm going to leave that there. Basically, I'm going to be trying to influence your decisions, right? I'm going to ask both of you some questions. Okay. Just remember, you can give me whatever answer you want. We've not set anything up. Um, go with whatever feels right. And now I've got a little prediction here. So, John, we'll start with yourself. Um, the card that we end up using, would you like this card to be a red card or a black card? Uh, red. A red card? Mm -hmm. So out of the red cards, we've got hearts or diamonds. Would you like it to be a heart or a diamond? A oh, heart. A heart? Yeah. Okay, uh, next question is, uh, would you like it to be a picture card or a number card? A uh, picture card. Picture card. So out of the picture cards, we've got uh, the Jacks, Queens, Kings. Uh -huh. Your choice. Have a think. Keep thinking. Don't, don't go with what feels too obvious. Go with whatever feels right. Let us know which picture would you like to use. Queen. Queen. Are you sure? Yeah. Now, you can change your mind. No. I'm going to give you a chance. We're gonna, you can stick with a queen. Or if you want, you can change to any other card in the pack. OK. No, I think, I think I'm happy. You're going to stick with the Queen? Yeah. Now, just bear in, bear in mind, you did have the chance to change your mind. Yes. If I go through here, right now, if you would have chosen the Ace of Hearts, this would be an incredible trick, say. <laughs> <laughs> now, you notice I also have uh, the Ace of Clubs up. Uh -huh. In fact, I also have the Ace of Diamonds. Yeah. 
and the ace of spades. All of the aces are face up. If you would have chosen an ace, this would have been an interesting moment, but <laughs> you didn't. But that doesn't matter. You could have gone for any card. Out of all these cards, these are all blue. These aces were taken from a red pack. Not only were they taken from a red pack, but I have noted something on the back. Now, bear in mind, you could have changed your mind. You could have gone for any card. Yeah. I wrote some notes on the back of these cards. I knew you were always going to go. No way. <laughs> that is very impressive. Thank you very much. I am the best audience ever. You know that? I just think, <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> That doesn't even rub off, does that's it? Actually, wow, that's that's cool. very impressive. See, it's why you won, Richard. That is brilliant. I love stuff like that, though. And I guess you know I have the time to really kind of focus I'm on. So lucky. On uh, the, the job. army were always great to me. They always gave me time to do my tours in the past. Uh, but this time, I'm in in the moment, uh, trying to plan a big tour for 2022. We're going to be starting in September, going all around the UK, and it's going to be featuring some of my most prized tricks. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. That is brilliant. And you're going to be well, it's Edinburgh. Fringe, there's a big Edinburgh show Festival coming first. up. Always wanted yeah. to do that, so I've written something a, a bit, I want to say weird, but unusual for me. A whole new show, um, which is a, a one-man musical comedy, which rhymes uh, for a, a, as a, you know the full show. It, it's a bit crazy. We've just started rehearsals now, and actually it's coming together really well. And then touring after that as well. So uh -huh. it's um, it's great. I mean, let's say these opportunities that came up because of BGT. Mm. I've always wanted to do Edinburgh, but it's nice to go up there with sort of BGT behind you at least. Oh, so it's such might. a special task. It's the it is the it's best. Gonna, yeah. you, you have composed a little song for us, I believe, as well, John. I'm not letting you go without <laughs> no, <laughs> giving okay. us a little yeah, bit well, of something. You did ask, but you, you don't have a piano in the studio, so no. we had to pre-record. We pre-recorded, but that's fine by me. Yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> I'm meant to be here in this studio Rehearsing stuff that I still don't know But instead I've been asked if I could go To the TV studios for Lorraine show Of course I said yes with all my heart But I've got a condition before planning starts A small request and it isn't hard Give Lorraine time off so I can meet Christine Lampard <laughs> Yeah. Hi. Hi. <laughs> that was yesterday. It was insane. You phoned me up and said, come on the show. I said, absolutely, I'd love to come on the show. And uh, as everybody says now, could you write us a song? I was like, it is about six hours before I come on the show. So that was literally John, yesterday in the rehearsal. we know you can. That's just oh, what it boils pressure. down to. Yeah, I thrive on it, apparently. <laughs> well, look, if you're excited about the new series tomorrow, we have a little sneak peek for you. <laughs> oh, they know how to launch a show, don't they? Best of luck. <laughs> Great to see you. Big tour coming up later in the year, like you say, Richard, and Edinburgh for you as well, John. Yeah, the, the, the tickets are, are going to be on, they're not available yet because they haven't been released yet. But if you go to my website, johncourtney.com, then the tickets will be there. So It'll all be exciting. in there. Yeah. Fantastic. We'll have you back when it all both kicks off. Thank you so Thanks much. Thanks, Thanks, Thank you so much. Um, Britain's Got Talent back tomorrow night, 8 pm on ITV. Don't forget, you can watch full episodes of Lorraine on the ITV Hub and all the best clips compilations and playlists right here on our channel. Just subscribe now and you'll never miss an upload. Click here to watch another video similar to this one or click here to head to our channel's homepage to explore all of our exciting videos.